Hey guys, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to factor these four terms by grouping. First thing you want to do when you're factoring anything is look for a GCF, or a greatest common factor. In this case, I notice all of these are divisible by 3. So I'm going to uh, take out a 3. If it helps you, you can put a little division sign and divide each of these by 3. And then take that 3, put it on the outside of a set of parentheses, and then write what that division lends, right? 18 divided by 3, for example, is 6. So 6x to the third. And this would be plus 22x squared. Negative 45 divided by 3 is negative 15x. And then negative 165 divided by 3 is negative 55. All right, and then close your parentheses so that 3 is on the outside. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to group these together. I'm going to use a couple different colors here. Let's have a blue group and a red group. All right, in the blue group, what we're going to do is again look for a common factor what can i take out of both of those that they have in common and i notice that they're both even right so i can take out a two that the largest thing yeah if i took out a three i wouldn't be able to go into 22 so i think for the number i take out a two and then i also notice that they have this one has three x's this one has two x's so i'm going to take out x squared two x's all right and then again just like before we're going to like divide that six x to the third divided by two x squared 6 divided by 2 is 3. Make that red. And then uh, x to the third divided by x squared is just x. And then same thing over here, 22 divided by 2 is 11, positive 11. x squared divided by x squared cancels. So we just end up with 3x plus 11. All right, in the red group, um, what I'm going to do is take out, let's see, looks like maybe a negative 5, I think is what I can take out of that. So if I take out negative 5, then left over, uh, negative 15 divided by negative 5 is 3. And then x divided by, there is no x here, so the x comes down. Negative 55 divided by negative 5 is positive 11. Negative divided by negative is a positive. And you'll notice here that the two reds match. If the two reds do not match, you did it wrong. Okay, so those always have to match in order for that to work. Now the way you write your answer is you're going to take your GCF from out front. Write that first, and then take your blue group, 2x squared minus 5. If this had just a regular 5 there with no sign, you'd put positive 5, but since it's negative, we can put negative 5. And then 3x plus 11, the red group, you write just one of those. I know there's two, but you're just going to write one of those, because what you're really doing is you're factoring out a 3x plus 11 again. It's kind of like you're factoring one more time. So all of that together is your answer. 